It's gonna be the most expensive box ever. Homemade from scratch, that's the way to go. That's Chavo. I feel like a dog, man. Anjing. Anjing. <laughs> I'm a cat. Hello everyone, Salamat Sorre. Here is the deal. I'm still in North Carolina. I've talked to many Indonesian communities within North Carolina trying to find Indonesian food. I know Rob's up in New York and he has all this delicious Indonesian food and I'm so jealous. But I've spoken to some communities and the closest Indonesian restaurants to me are a couple hours south in Atlanta, Georgia or a couple hours north in Virginia. So we're obviously not gonna drive there, but here's the deal. I'm gonna try to make some Indonesian food with my family, taste test it and see how they like it, bring a little bit of Indonesia to them. So right now I'm in the car with my mom. We're on our way to the store to get some supplies and some groceries. What are we making, mom? Bakso. Ba I didn't think she knew. I didn't think she was listening. Yes, we are making bakso, the staple Indonesian food. Bakso is amazing. You can get it on the street from vendors. You can get it in restaurants. It goes all the way from low end to high end. Bakso is delicious. It's an Indonesian comfort food, and I absolutely love it, so I can't wait for my family to try it. But I want nasi goreng, too. You want nasi goreng, too? Yes. What else? Nazi champur. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My mom's been to Bali a few times, guys. She loves the Indonesian food. Maybe some satay, rendang, soto. We don't have time to make all those foods, so I figured bakso would be a nice, hearty thing because it's still a little bit chilly here. So bakso is going to be perfect, perfect dish for the occasion. Ready? Ready. Say ayo. Ayo. We have arrived at the Oriental Market. We're gonna get as many supplies as we can here, keep it as authentic as possible. Anything we can't get here, we're gonna to go to one of the generic supermarkets and get all the rest there. We're gonna do our best here as well. Look at all these different meatballs. This looks like, this looks like bakso, yeah? Got some bakso looking balls here. Some here, crab, bakso kepating, bakso ikan. Bakso jompur jompur api ini bakso sapi bakso ooh sapi sama ayam I'm thinking it's gonna be better if we make the meatballs ourselves gonna get some ground beef gonna get some cornstarch make a couple meatballs homemade from scratch that's the way to go what you got toge 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 got the toge that should be plenty. Toge, Toge, do they have a price on them? Yeah. 239. Woo! <laughs> Mahal, yeah? Mahal. <laughs> yeah. What else are you working with? It said a handful of greens. Yeah, we want yeah. some bok choy. Baby bok choy. Yeah. 349. Woo! They call it bok choy. Bok choy. Pa. Pa choy. Pa choy. Spring onion. How much for the spring onion? 239. <laughs> this could be the most expensive box ever. Star and a seed. This is what I'm looking for, yeah? Yeah. I've never had this before. Oh, it's good. It has a has a lot of flavor. Smell it. It's kind of like licorice. Yeah? It does smell like licorice. Mm -hmm. That's what good. they put in box though? Only a little bit though. There's the cinnamon sticks too. We only need one. I know. One, you probably don't need a cinnamon stick, honestly. I don't know if anyone's using cinnamon sticks in their box though. Smell it and see if it, it does kind of have a little bit of that. You think? It's tiny. Just a little bit of spice in there? Not too bad. 219 for the cinnamon sticks. 349. 349 for the star. Anise. Anise, anise. Get one from the back? Yeah, maybe get one from the back. <laughs> Super Chinese of you. <laughs> 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 Gotta get the fresh. <laughs> Can't find any sambal. So this is what we're going with. The Vietnamese chili garlic sauce. Chili, salt, garlic, no tomatoes. I don't know how much I trust this. 1982. <laughs> it's not too bad. No, not too bad. At our second Oriental Market, this might be a very short trip. This is a much smaller one. Just seeing if they have a couple things that I wasn't able to get. Maybe some sambal. So just run right in, see what they have. Be out in just a second.
Okay. Upon first glance, it's not looking very promising. We also got to get rice noodle. Oh, we forgot to get the rice noodle. Yeah, I think Perfect they have stuff. rice noodle here. Yeah, they do. 239. It's a good thing we did stop there because we forgot the rice noodles. So thank God. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, got the beef bones, create the stock, create the broth. Let this simmer down for a long time. We've been running around all over trying to find the right ingredients. Took us four stores, four stores. Not just like a little cart running around where you get your box out. This is box out we're working for. It. Better be good. Let's go home. We are back home. As you can tell, it's slide out. It's the next day. Because this beef broth that we have to make for the box out actually takes upwards of three plus hours. But right now, my mom and brother are at work. So I'm gonna get that beef broth started. So by the time they get home, we can start making meatballs, getting everything prepared so it's time to eat when they get home. All over Indonesia, I'm sure they have their different variants, different flavors to the taste that they like it. You know, you have your bakso malang, your bakso solo, your bakso blitar. Right now, we have the ingredients for the broth. What are we working with? Boom, right here, we got the beef bones, the anise petal, some cinnamon sticks, celery, garlic, ginger, spring onion, there's a lot of spring onion. We're Chinese, we love spring onion. We always use spring onion. Growing up, my grandma always told me about the three important G's in Chinese cuisine. You got your garlic, your ginger, and your green onion. A Little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, two liters of water. So that's the recipe that I looked up. That's what it says goes in this box. So gonna get that all in a pot, chop it up, put it in, let it boil, let it simmer down, make a nice beef broth stock for that box. So get the garlic. Put her on high, let it get going. Let's get these beef bones in there, huh? Good deal, whoa! Looks like a lot of nice cartilage. Gonna make a really nice stock. All right, beef bones in. Just a little bit of sugar, just a little, little bit of sugar. Let me know, do you guys put sugar in your boxo? I don't know, man. I'm just following the recipe. Salt is going in. Next up, we have our anise petal. And the recipe only calls for one of these. It smells so good, I think I'm gonna put in two. One star. Oh, two star. Two and a half star. Dua satanga bintang. Ayo. It called for one small cinnamon stick. Maybe I don't have a good enough palate, but I never tasted cinnamon box, so maybe it just gives it that little bit of spice, a little bit of sweetness. It smells delightful. But about that much cinnamon stick. She's in. Got everything in here. Gonna give it a nice stir. This broth has only been going for a couple minutes and it smells absolutely delicious. It smells so good and it kind of smells like bakso. I'm doing it, I'm making bakso, it smells like bakso. It's so good, it has that nice light, oh, sweetness to it. It smells absolutely amazing. She's simmering beautifully right there. Gonna let her sit three hours and get back to it. Look who's home. Mom's home, and everybody say yay! Yay! Bokso! <laughs> Smells good in here? Smells good in here, like bokso! <laughs> yeah. Jables is home. What type of meatballs you put in? We're gonna make them. Oh, really? Yeah, we were using ground beef and some cornstarch, and we're gonna make some meatballs. Get down on it. Make some meatballs. Get, Get down, down on it. <laughs> Meatball. Meatball makers. <laughs> we need how many things of cornstarch? We get 89.6. 88.9, good deal. Is that much cornstarch? That's what it said. I mean, it's too much. Wait, is that 100 grams? That's less than 100 grams. I don't know if we need that that much, though. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Feels so weird. 
Yeah. yeah. Is there any egg in this meat? No egg. That should do nicely. Yeah. I'm scared to put this in. You want to throw just a little bit of a pinch. Massage therapist at work. Now, I'm not positive they put garlic in all these things in traditional Indonesian bakso, but we're going for a flavorful bakso. We want it to be nice and delicious. Just a little bit of salt. Oh! Whoa! Thank God your hand's there. <laughs> that would have been terrible. Now you want to make me the balls? Now let's make some balls. That looks okay. I'm going to try a different method. He's hauling ass. Bam, bam. Somebody's hungry. We've been waiting for this boxo for three hours. <laughs> you guys are at work. You want some yeah. boxo? We gotta let her try a boxo meatball. Luna, you want a boxo meatball? Boxo? Tapas and patepulo. Mom's getting them bones out. They probably have some good meat on them. Some cartilage. You wanna try that? Oh god. <laughs> Crunchy. You chew it up? Yeah. It a joint. It's like beef jerky joint. Texture is kind of crunchy. The, so the softer part is going to be good. Mmm. All that fat. Let's get you a good one. Try some of that. That's the good stuff. Oh, yeah. Wait, it's going to be here? juicy. Yeah. So the meat or whatever. That's the tasty bit. Getting that gristle. That stuff's good, yeah? That was flavor. So tasty. Flavor pocket right there, dude. <laughs> yeah. I feel like a dog, man. Anjing. Come on. Anjing. It was juicy, you were right. So good. Look at that little bit. That's the flavor pocket right there. Some marrow in there, too. He's like, I want a piece oh, of that. Oh, man. Look at him. Mmm. That's like butter. That's the flavor pocket. <laughs> She's getting into it. She's she knows we're getting to the good stuff. Yeah, she smells it. Sit. Shake. Good girl. Shake. All right. Ready? And they should start to float, yeah. They're probably looking good. No, they look. How do you know when they're done? You bite it. Test it out, boss. Hot. They're probably done. Let me get a little bit. I think so. Also, sapi, toge, bean sprout, toge. 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 Clear. Oh. Sounds good. Yeah, but that's a good idea. Yeah, it opens up so you don't have to peel them all. I've been doing what it wrong. Because when you make kimchi, six gallons of kimchi. Just put like a little handful in each. Sekaranga ada bawang goreng. Tapi masih enak. Kapapa. Bakso in. All right, ayomakan. 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 <laughs> is done. We are ready to eat. We have. You might be able to call this sambal. I'm not gonna call it sambal. Woo! Spicy. That's spicy though. You said some of them are just very flavorful. Yeah, some of them are really good. They usually use like a lot of tomato. Uh, sugar goes into some of them. A lot of different things. Sometimes they use fish paste or like the the tiny shrimp. Yeah, fermented shrimp. Yeah, the fermented shrimp. Yeah, like, like tarasi. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. We, we gotta put our, our balls together. <laughs> we gotta put our balls together. Ready? We gotta put the balls together. Salam makan. Salam makan. Salam makan. Salam makan. Salam makan. Mmm. 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 are good. It's cakey. Mm -hmm. It is cakey. These are definitely denser than what I'm used to. You want some sambal? I'll take some sambal. How do you know I like sambal? Tell me all your videos. You and Ralph. But do I like sambal or do I manage sambal or do I suffer through the sambal? You suffer. You've came a long way though. I've come a long way from what <laughs> I used to. Anything mild, you wouldn't even touch that. Yeah, not a chance. I could not eat anything spicy before and then he just changed my palate. And a lot of times I have the sweet soy sauce in here, but I'm not a fan of the ketchup manis in my box though. So I decided to leave it out. 
Oh, that's good. Let me throw some more in, actually. <laughs> Sambal and... Lagi! 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 Lagi? Lagi! <laughs> Lagi! <laughs> Lagi! Lagi! I have to get some competition. Lagi, Lagi. So, off first impressions, does it remind you guys of anything or does it taste like anything familiar? To me, it's similar to the Vietnamese soup. The pho? Yeah. Yeah, the pho. The pho. I think it's the anise that I put in because when I was cooking it too, the broth smelled very much like pho. And this is definitely, like, for me, my opinion, when I've had bokso in Indonesia, this is definitely different, definitely different than what I'm used to. But good. Oh, really good. Yeah, delicious. Typically, when a bokso card comes by, you know, you can get it for 70 cents or so. Oh, a bowl this size. Maybe not this size, but people, a lot of times, like, people will bring their own bowl. Did you bring your own bowl? I have not brought my own bowl. Usually I get it, like, bunkus, so I get a takeaway. So this is your favorite type of bakso? The bakso sapi? Mm hmm I don't know. I would probably say bakso I am is probably my favorite. Chicken? Yeah, I just eat it more. Like, more often than not, you're eating the, the chicken bakso. Well, I learned how to make meatballs. You add cornstarch. Cornstarch worked really well. Yeah. Seriously. You were doubting it. I was doubting it. You were doubting it. Best bakso you had, where was it at? Maybe in Malang. Malang's famous for their bakso. So normally it's like a really nice, cheap comfort food that you can get at any time. People are always pushing carts all hours of the day. But this bakso was not the cheapest. You probably spent $25? for three bowls, so you're looking at $10 a bowl for box up. Big portion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good portions for sure. I smelt it from outside the door. Really? I could smell it from outside the door. Really? Faint, very faintly, but yeah. And then you opened it up, and boom. And I was like, yeah. It's very similar to the pho, and that's just like a meat, long cooked in the broth with some vegetables in there. Mm-hmm. With rice noodle. Yeah, I mean, the thing about Asian cuisine is they all have very similar foods with their own variations and like the type of spices and ingredients that are available in that area. It would be perfect hangover food. Perfect hangover food, right? Yeah. All right, guys, we finished our box though. Final impressions, how was it? I say it was a 10. Sapulu? Very Sapulu. good, very good. One out of 10. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Solid eight and a half. Dude, eight and a half, that's a good score. That's a, that's a real score. Is it a real 10? Give me a real score. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'll give it about an eight and a half too. Eight and a half. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really good box so. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit us with a like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Boop, 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 boop. Jungle Lupa, like, subscribe, and comment the bawa. Manta. <laughs> Manta. <laughs>